Hey guys, this is Danny's Auto Repair. Today I'm going to be doing a quick video on how to um, replace my tie rod. This is the tie rod here. And um, as you can see, I can move it a little easily. So that's why I'm, I'm replacing this tie rod. I'm also going to be doing today the struts and the lower ball joint down there. Right there. This is the ball joint right here. But I'm going to be doing that in a separate video, guys. So I'm going to be doing a tie rod first. So here we go. The tools you're going to need. Hold on. First, you're going to have to take out the, uh, the cotter pin. I already put some uh, lubricant here. So I'm going to remove this little cotter pin here. So here it goes. Next. I'll be back, guys. Hold on. Let me get my wrench. I believe this is an 18 millimeter socket here. Wow, this is tight. Let me get my uh, my bar here. Hold on. Okay, guys. Let me see if this one fits a little better. Yeah, yeah this is 17, guys. Not 18, sorry. <clears throat> so you get a 17 millimeter socket. And I got this little bar for extra strength here. Put it on my little ratchet and break that nut loose. Got it loose. We put some more of this uh, lubricant. Now, to take this out, you can either hit it here with a hammer or use the, um, I got the tool in the trunk, I'll show it to you in a minute. 
but also you have to loosen this nut here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark this here I mean you, you can either mark it or count the turns a lot of people do it different ways but I usually just mark it here and when I put the new one I just know where to stop at that's pretty much it so let me get um I have my little marker here so let me just um, mark this right here before I loosen anything. much what I do so I'm gonna loosen this nut first I think this is an 18 hold on guys French. This is a 19. So I'll use this one. So uh, I put a wrench there and I uh, I loosened that nut, guys. Just like that. So now, back to the uh, back to the uh, tie rod here. So this is the tool that I have for the tie rod. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bang it here a couple of times, just to show you that that works also. like that guys so as you can see it came right out I just banged it here a couple of times right here and it came right out <clears throat> so now I'm gonna try to put this back right there and now without moving that top nut I'll take this one out so it'll be closest to a, to the original alignment until I take it to the shop to get an alignment because after this you will need an alignment for sure
put some uh, lubricant here also. So this is the old one, guys. As you can see, it has some play in it. It's not bad, bad, but it's starting to go bad. So let me get the new one. So this is the new one. You always want to make sure they're the same. Compare both of them. Pretty much the same. So now I'm gonna put the uh, the little grease fitting in here, which is in this bag. And it comes with a new cotter pin. It's right here. So you just screw on. Sorry about the noise, guys. This is New York City. New York City's crazy. <laughs> so you just uh, screw that on. And just tighten it a little bit. Put it back on here. pretty much it so now ah, there it goes Put the nut on, and um, I don't have my uh, my torque wrench, but um, I'm just gonna tighten it, and then later on, I'll retorque this. They're gonna take this off at the garage anyway. To, um, to do the alignment because they have to adjust it here I guess so okay so now you tighten it and you gotta make sure that little hole is right there just took this to 36 foot pounds Right there. So now the hole, you can see it right there. So I'm gonna put the uh, my cotter pin on, and then I'm gonna grease the the tie rod.
it's just not it's not straight it's not going in all the way so that means I gotta turn it a little bit more yep let's see right there Beautiful. So now, you want to spread this uh, cotter pin through the back. Spread the, the little legs here, like there. Don't get the wrong idea, guys. It's not, you know. <laughs> I'm talking about the, the cotter pin now, okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, <laughs> I said that wrong. <laughs> okay, all right, that's fine right there, guys. So now I'm gonna get my grease gun and grease that up. Also, I'm gonna tighten this nut back here. So, um this a little bit back down okay right there so I can get my grease gun in there all right guys so got my grease gun here this is my grease gun Put it in here. Grease her up. So the minute you see grease popping out the sides, that means it's full. And stop. says grease. And that's pretty much it guys. The tie rod is done. So, remember guys, it's just the nut down here, this nut right here with the cotter pin, and you tighten this, uh, I mean loosen this nut here, the tie rod pops right out, alright, and you hit it right here with a hammer, right here, or you can use, you can use this tool, Uh, you put it down here, right there, or um, 
you hit it with the hammer here. Bam, 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 right here. And it pops right out. And that's it. So, I hope you guys like this video. God bless. Take care, guys.